In today's video, we unbox a set of Ronnie Heen backpipes. Stay tuned. Well, hello everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel, I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, please think about giving the video a like and commenting with any thoughts you might have. I also teach Skype and online lessons if you want more personalized instruction, but more on that later. All right, everybody, in this box right here, we have a set of Ronnie Heen bagpipes from Malaysia, but they are Scottish pipes. I previously reviewed a Ronnie pipe bag, a sheepskin bag that was sent to me by Ronnie. Great bag review can be found in one of the corners up there or in the description below. And since then, he has gone on to make pipes and reached out to me a few months ago and said, hey, would you unbox and film uh, one of my pipes? And if you like it, you can keep it. I'm joined today off camera by my good friend and student, Mr. Jason Michael, waving over there. You can say hi, Jason. Hello. And uh, he brought something to enjoy. What would you bring here, sir? Matthew McD. Matthew McD. So uh, we'll be tasting this and a little Aberfeldy later, but uh, let's get into this box and not waste any more time. But thank you for being here. You're welcome. So this was repacked by DHL or Customs or someone. So fingers crossed it's all okay in here. It's definitely thoroughly plastic. And it's upside down. Oh, wow. Dude, look at that. It's got my name on it. That's some lovely branding on the outside of this. We have a, we had a seal that, like a wax stamp seal that had been uh, broken by customs, I would imagine. But that would have been a lovely touch had they not, well, already cut it off. But Ronnie, that's great. Okay. And this looks like a good old fashioned kind of box here. The top, whole top's going to come off. And here we go. Definitely going to be keeping this lid though. Okay, so we have a G1 Reeds trap dry system in here. Okay, I guess that's what this is here. I've not actually used a trap dry system before, so maybe I'll make a video on that separately. And I'll hand this over to Mr. Jason, what else do we have here? I have, oh, look at this. Some lovely Ronnie Heen business cards here. There we go, showing up on camera. Nice cards, Ronnie. There's those are, and got myself a t-shirt. Excellent, what, what's that say? I don't know. <laughs> you wanna give that a go? Samar Atadu? Yeah, I think th there it is. All right, thank you, sir. Okay, we have the trap dry unit here. And going in, we have the bright red bag cover. Oh, with a uh, patch. If uh, I don't always want a body side patch on the bag. It kind of depends on how the cover fits and everything. So there was one provided in here. But uh, here's the bag cover by itself. And it does have a zipper on the bottom, so that'll make installation nice and simple and man there's just so many doodads in here okay so we have red drum cords so we will have to cord this thing up but uh continuing the bright red theme right here. ah drone reads so ronnie has made every part of this bagpipe for all intents and purposes including the reeds so these are cane drone reeds. We'll definitely be giving them a go, though I don't know if I'll be playing them long term. And that has nothing to do with Ronnie. It has to do with the fact that I just don't tend to play with cane drone reeds. I did have to learn how to tweak these things when I was first learning in the mid-90s because the synthetic reed scene was kind of abysmal back then. But as soon as the synthetic reeds got good, um, I kind of went that direction and never looked back. And then in here we have Ronnie Keen bagpipe. Let's see. It's kind of a complicated little box. There we go. And, oh, okay, so we got all sorts of stuff in here. We got some practice channel reeds. We have some easy pipe channel reeds, again, made by Mr. Heen. And some easy plus reeds. Seems like he knows me or has watched my videos and knows I don't play mediums. But the branding is continuing through all of the packaging. So far, everything's top notch. Let's uh, 
keep going. So on the very top is the Ronnie Heen Blackwood Pipe Channer with imitation ivory sole. My goodness gracious, this thing is amazing. So I must say, Mr. Ronnie is 23 years old, quite an ambitious young man. Um, he's played in a band, and the spelling will be down there because I don't quite know how to say it, but it's a Sikh pipe band that in 2019 won grade 4B at the Worlds in Scotland. So an accomplished player as well. Before we do anything else, let's take some of these easy reads, stick it in here, and give this thing a wee blast. So a little crow in that read. Let's try the other one. I have a video on how to get rid of the crow, the staticky sound you heard on the top there, and a link up here and in the description. Let's try this other one. Winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. All right, I am gonna actually hand this to Mr. Jason. There you go, thank you. And we'll keep on keeping on. So, the blowpipe. So, this is a full imitation ivory set. The RH04, I've come to find out, is the model number. The combing and beading looks very, very nice. It is very well done. The pipe is very smooth. And the imitation ivory is incredible. It's got grain to it, like the Schrader lines that like real ivory has. And I think it's a very nice shape for the projecting mount here. The valve is nice and tight, so I don't have to worry about that. The finish on the bottom is really quite good. Sometimes it's gonna be a little rough. That's making a good seal. All right, here we go. Now we're getting on to the drones. Looks like we have the base top and middle in this particular one. Everything seems very well packed. Everything's looking good, Ronnie. So there's the top right there. Very smooth around everything. the bottom. So there we go. These sections here. And I'm going to need to add just a little bit of string to the joint. It's a little bit loose, but I'd rather have it be too loose than too tight, especially in shipping where things can move and change. So of the two, this is my preferred way to have it ship. So there's those two parts. Again, hand this over. Okay. And then I think, oh, I saw some practice channel reads, so I suspected there might have been a practice channel in here. That's an extra bonus. I had no idea about that. There we go. Oh, and there's a read in the chanter already. So it is a Blackwood practice channel. The cute, tiny little soul. All right, let's see how this thing does. So I think just a little bit more hemp on the reed to pull it out, it'll be just fine. But it, uh, it's a perfectly great practice channel. We'll get it tuned up, add a little bit more on it later, but we're gonna keep on going. To the main event. I think everything else in here is attached because it came pre-tied in to a Ronnie Pipe Bags medium sheepskin bag. There will be a full photo gallery of this set at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. We have the base, the bore, very smooth, not rough at all, no rough patches, looking great. Again, just slightly on the loose side here, but I mean, it's still fitting together. I will be adding a bit more string before play testing this here in a minute. You can see the, the care that was taken in packaging, separate bits of bubble wrap around the projecting mounts to make sure they arrive undamaged. So far, everything's looking perfect. And the surfaces where they're meeting up is impeccable. It is completely smooth. 
I am very happy. Again, that's just a little loose. Won't quite stay up on the string. Again, we'll add just a little. But the bore again, very, very nice. Very, very nice bore. There's the top section on this one. All right, so there we have the outside tenor. They look identical to me. I'm not seeing anything that, like, in terms of the turning, the spacing of the combing and the beading, Everything looks great, and this was done with a caliper and an old-fashioned lathe. This is not CNC. This is one man and a lathe with some measuring tools um, making what looks to be a great instrument. I can't wait to play it here in a minute and get to hear how these sound. And also some nice branding on the sheepskin bag, which has already been seasoned at least once. We'll see if it needs any more seasoning. And then the blowpipe is actually a split stock, so you can get that trap dry into it, though I'm probably going to save this for later because I've never used this before and uh, I'm not that wet of a blower, so we'll see if I even need it. But again, the workmanship is really, really nice. You can see it's metal lined on the inside. This is plastic inside the imitation ivory mount, but what's really kind of cool is where it comes together, right there, the bead is on the stock and the ferrule that the trap dry would attach to is up here. So ivory, ivory, but when they're together, that seam is all but invisible. That's very well done, nicely done, Ronnie. Here. For our first tasting here, we're enjoying a little Matthew McDee's. So uh, Matthew, a fine name if I do say so myself. And uh, let's see, is it a fine spirit? Oh man, it's got, um, I like to say kind of a biscuity gunpowder note that uh, I've noticed it's like some Garrison Brothers uh, bourbons, uh, it's, I love that. There's something cowboy about it. I like it. It's a somewhat hot arrival. I would not say smooth immediately comes to mind, but man, it is tasty. It is sweet. It is, again, that kind of smoky gunpowdery kind of thing. Not a peated kind of thing at all. But it's got its own stuff going on. This is a, a rather lovely spirit, so I uh, highly recommend some Matthew McDee's. All right, folks, with that, let's hear what these things right here sound like.
there was a little test with the cane drone reeds, and you can hear they're coming in great. All three drones, they're going to take some time to settle down. That's just the nature of cane. They have to be played for several hours just for the reed itself to break in. And then the warm-up time in the process of playing them. Well, it just takes several minutes for them to settle down, but I think it gave you a good idea of the tone that they're capable of in those moments they're in tune before they kind of settle out. In this next playthrough, I'm going to be using a set of easy drones with an inverted bass, a readily available set of reeds you can get just about anywhere and see how they do. Let's find out. <laughs> Those were with the Easy Drone Reeds. These are a well-broken-in set of reeds I've been playing for quite some time, so they're not fresh off the rack or anything. So I wanted to test it with some drone reeds that I knew were going well, and yes, they're playing great in this set of Ronnie Heen bagpipes right here. <laughs> I've been putting this set of pipes through its paces for the last several days now, and I am exceedingly happy with everything I have going on with this instrument. The imitation ivory is out of this world. It looks just truly phenomenal. I mean, I can't really say enough about how great it looks. And again, there's a full photo gallery with pictures of this whole set at the end, so stay tuned for that. I've only had to add just a few tablespoons of seasoning since um, that first playthrough, and it's tight and doing well, though playing daily has definitely helped keep the bag going. Sheepskin does not like being um, left around. So if you are considering a Ronnie Heen bagpipe and don't play daily, you might want to consider his cowhide option.
And if you wanted to find out more about the Ronnie Heen bagpipes and the four current models he has as of the end of 2022, you could head over to Ronnie Heen bagpipes. You'll see the address here and also in the description below. I don't know if the prices for these sets are online yet, but if they're not, go ahead and contact Ronnie. But folks, I love that an instrument of this quality in terms of both its workmanship as well as its sound is coming from, well, one, a single craftsman, two, one that's as young as he is and as passionate about the work as he is, and three, from a part of the world currently not known for bagpipes, but maybe uh, Mr. Heen can change that. I have no qualms with this pipe. In fact, I'm going to spend the next several months with this being my primary instrument, really put it through the paces. There will be a follow-up, and when that's ready, it'll be up there in that corner for you to check out. But again, I really want to put some time on this and see how they're going. I might try several different types of reeds in here, maybe an excuse to do some videos on some different drone reeds, because I'm not familiar with this instrument. I've been playing a Henderson-based bore for pretty much my entire bagpipe career. My main bagpipe for many years was a 2001 Crone Heritage pipe before I went into the R.G. Hardy line of Peter Henderson pipes, also based on a Henderson bore. This bore is clearly similar enough to the Hendersons that it's taking all of my reeds, but it is performing differently, and I'm excited to figure out exactly what that means and which reeds, at the end of the day, I think are going to go best. And it might just be the Heen cane reeds that it came with. And let's not forget about this practice channel right here that was also included. So this channer is pitching a little above B-flat, which makes it great for playing along with actual bagpipe recordings. It might make it slightly more difficult to fit in with a group, especially if they have the hearty twist trap channers, which are pitched way down in A and are significantly longer. But it is a fine instrument. It is fully African blackwood, and it's very old school. You want the, the non-chamfered, non-countersunk holes? This looks like a practice channer that you would have seen um, your old teacher from like the 1980s holding up, you know, and playing. Well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you got something out of this video, please think about giving the video a like, subscribing to the channel, and commenting below with any thoughts you might have. And if you've been enjoying these videos, please consider going over to my Patreon. You'll see names now of folks scrolling up, and a special shout out to Mr. Michael Dingus, my number one supporter. But these are folks that support the channel monthly. I'd love to add your name to this list. You often get early access to videos and other perks, so go check out my Patreon. I also teach Skype and online lessons if you want more personalized instruction. Go ahead and head over to www.commandyourbagpipe.com or email me at the address you see right here and we'll get you going. I'm working with folks from all over the planet and I hope to work with you soon. I also have a line of Command Your Bagpipe and Prescription Bagpipe merchandise. Go ahead and head over to the link you see here and in the description and let the world know that you command your bagpipe. Alright, let's not waste any more time and get to the photos of this set. There's a whole bunch of them this time, but well, I had to capture this amazing instrument in film. Well, I'm Matt Willis, and until next time, guys, cheers. Uh -huh.